everybody, this is Mark from FloridaUrbanHomestead.com, coming up here with a garden update. Today is Monday, uh, June the 21st, and I thought I'd let you take a tour of my garden, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm going to show you the uh, ugly right up first. Uh, that is a lot of the damage that has happened to my cucumbers. Um, <clears throat> Some of this damage is probably from the uh, heat. Uh, it's really too hot, technically, for cucumbers right now, but I'm growing them anyway. Uh, but most of my problems have come from pickle worms, a uh, small little bugger that's getting inside uh, both the vine and the uh, fruit itself. Uh, it's real easy to tell, and I'm going to see if I can get a good close-up of this. It may be that it won't come out, but... If you could see this, you would see that this uh, this particular uh, cucumber start here is in the, uh, you can barely see it, it just won't focus, but it has a small worm in it, and that small worm is a pickle worm, and he can get in both the vine and he can get inside the uh, cucumber itself, and I'm doing uh, what I can to combat these things, one of the things that you'll see right away, uh, some people might think that that's something like blight, like you can see right there, uh, but it's not. This is just uh, a typical problem with the uh, bug getting inside the vine, the leaf, just right in that one area will, uh, will wilt. And how you can tell that from just cucumber wilt is that cucumber wilt will affect large areas of the plant where the pickle worm will just affect the uh, vine upstream of where uh, it has um, started to suck the sap out of the core. But that's just one problem, and there's lots of other things. I just I did get some good cucumbers today, along with some onion and um, uh, a tomato. Uh, so it's doing good. And down here you can see I still have peppers, and the peppers are doing well. Uh, some of these tomatoes are turning red as we speak, and I've built these nice cages for these uh, tomato plants here. These are beefsteak. These are uh, real nice ones. And the lemon cucumber, although I think it, I may need to put some copper spray on it because it looks like it's uh, maybe getting a little bit of fungus down there. But other than that, it's doing real well and hasn't been affected so far by these worms. Uh, down through here, I have the uh, husky cherry tomatoes that I've been eating on. Uh, haven't had too many problems with the tomatoes anymore. Had hornworms in the beginning, but uh, organic uh, spray, uh, insecticidal soap, has pretty much brought that under control. This is the site of a uh, new up-and-coming bed, and across from it, you'll see... Um, some more of these. These are nice beefsteak tomatoes. And I might have here, just to show you, that even when you're using something like that, this is one that has been affected almost certainly by a hornworm. And if I open it up, we will probably find them inside. But it is the direct evidence that there has been a uh, creature in here like that. And so basically um, and there he is so basically we just uh, we want to get rid of him and uh, squash him out of existence we don't want him to further uh, affect any other of our plants uh, for hornworms insecticidal soap for the most part is most effective when you spray the plant directly and so you have to kind of catch him I haven't been in the garden for a couple of days, and that's when a hornworm can really set in. Uh, but not to fear, we'll have more tomatoes than we will uh, have lost. Uh, over here, our cantaloupes are starting to bloom so far all male, but hopefully soon we'll have some females. Over here we have some more tomatoes that are starting to ripen up. That is a variety called Homestead. It gets red. Uh, over here I have a tire garden. I don't know if you'll be able to really see it too well, but there is indeed a sweet potato coming up. And this is my watermelon. 
Crimson um, Giant. And uh, over here in front of it, you will see that I have uh, two or three of these uh, baby watermelons. This one uh, has yet to bloom yet. I don't know if it's because of the heat, but it is growing a lot more than this one did. The Mr. Stripey tomato plants that I planted from seed are doing well. And over here, my peppers and my sweet basil are doing good. I have a few uh, passion fruit that are trying to volunteer in here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want them in this part of the garden, though. Uh, over here, we have uh, bell pepper uh, and more onions, just like I've been picking. And some nice uh, um, beef master tomatoes. These are really good. This is something that's uh, pretty new. It's my uh, bean garden that I put up here up to the fence. Simply put in some 2 by 4s with some stakes to hold them up. Uh, and basically have my beans just running along the length. I have some cow peas, purple, uh, purple hole. I also have uh, bush uh, bean 274 from Burpee. Those are both some nice beans that I hope to be getting. Over here I have a cantaloupe that is growing on the fence, and we're going to give that a try um, and see how that works. Uh, over here we have some, uh, this is a mix, this is a multicolored mix, so I don't know which uh, three tomato plants I have in here. But it would be really great if I had some purples and chocolates in there. It'd be great, and I have it uh, ready to be caged too. These are more beans. Uh, these are blue lake beans. And then over in the back, it's just sprouting. Uh, doesn't look really all that interesting, but it's corn. Uh, and it's just a normal sweet corn. Uh, that's pretty much an update of what I have in my garden. Uh, I really appreciate you guys coming by and checking it out. I'd also really appreciate it if you would uh, click and subscribe. I'd really need some more subscribers, and that would be great, too. So, uh, happy gardening to everyone, and y'all have a great day.